David O'Doherty, but that's not going to be the title of my autobiography. Uh, I've been working on it recently to try and sell a few more units. I'm going to call it Harry Potter and the Da Vinci Book of Sudoku. <laughs> F-A-Q for the D-O-D, F-A-Q for the D-O-D, F-A-Q for the D-O-D. Frequently asked questions for David O'Doherty, F-A-Q for the D-O-D. Where are you from? I'm from Dublin City. What are your hobbies? Cycling and Frisbee. What have you got in store for us tonight? I'm gonna rock your world in quite a gentle way. Like a delicious cake as opposed to a bag of drugs. Do you have a sidekick? No, I'm the only one in it. Do you stand up at all? Yes, in a minute. How do you describe your style of comedy? I call it very low energy, musical whimsy, or Vlemwy. <laughs> Apart from Vlemwy, do you have any other skills? Yes. I can touch type 40 words a minute, have a full driving license with no points on it, have a decent knowledge of geography, and a basic award in water safety. So my gigs very rarely end in drowning. Where do you write your material in bed at home? What's the capital of Botswana? Gaborone. Geography. What do you think is the secret of a great comedian? You have to like sitting on trains and have quite low self-esteem. Oh, you're laughing. Please be my friend. Do you believe in God? No, none. Who's your favorite Beatle? George Harrison. How do you know if you're with the right one or if you're not with this person until the right one comes along? That's quite a complicated question. And one I have to admit, I'm not actually asked all that frequently, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with not wanting to make out with other people. F-A-Q for the D-O-D. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It, uh, it is a great pleasure to be here. I, uh, I know it's nice to be away, I guess. I, I waste a lot of my life uh, looking at the internet in particular. Uh, I recently finished the internet. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done that, but uh, a picture of Bill Gates comes up and you get to enter your initials. Uh, I've been trying to, I guess I've been trying to get a bit healthy. Uh, I don't drink very much, which is one of those things you're not really expected to say as an Irish person. It's like a pirate going, Arr, I love couscous. <laughs> I, uh, I eat meat, but uh, I, don't eat, I don't eat the cuter animals. I don't eat uh, panda, <laughs> koala, swan. I have a particular sympathy for the swan at the moment because across Europe with the bird flu scare, the, the swan was, they were saying, could be one of the big carriers. So it's, it's possible a lot of European swans are going to have to be culled. And that makes me feel terrible because I think the swan is just so graceful, so beautiful. Like if, if a swan could talk, they'd be like great writers and poets, you know, not like ducks. If ducks could talk, they'd try and sell you things. <laughs> ducks infomercials. Are you tired of water running off your back? <laughs> I, I grew up thinking I was just an ordinary kid Just doing things that ordinary kids did But years passed me and I began to see certain strange abilities I'm not a hero, but I'm not a freak. I just have very mild superpowers. Very mild superpowers. Like sometimes when I'm cycling with headphones on, I know exactly where I'll be at the end of a song. I'm talking about very mild superpowers. Frequently in kitchens where I've never been, I can just sense the location of the cups and crockery. Very mild superpowers. My legs aren't bionic, my eyes aren't x-rays, but I'm a very good judge of whether things will fit through doorways. Tables, sofas in particular.
But for every mild superpower, there's a very mild super weakness too. I get nauseous round the smell of bins. I'm afraid of sharp mannequins. I hate cheese vacuum wrapped in plastic. I can never tell when people are being sarcastic. Oh, Dave, I really liked that song. Did you? No. <laughs> Maybe that's because you fear my very mild superpowers. Look within. I'm just a man. A man who happens to be frighteningly good at getting broken pens to work <laughs> again. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Where we go to church on Sundays, church on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Friday, funerals on Saturdays, and back to church on Sundays. <laughs> It's like, what do you want to be, Tyler? A basketball player. <laughs> really, Tyler, your family only eats Pop-Tarts. How is that going to work out? You're going to lose energy on the